The Utah Jazz, the worst team in the league, at Denver taking on the Nuggets. Ty Lawson back after missing two games with a hamstring injury, but it would not be an auspicious return. He was 0 for 6 from the floor, went scoreless in this ball game. But Utah is firing from distance. Trey Burke knocking down the tray. And then Burke finds Marvin Williams for three. Utah made six of their seven three-point attempts in the first quarter. In December, their 45% shooting from distance as a team is tops in the NBA. Gordon Hayward, he had 14 in the first half. Meanwhile, for Denver, Wilson Chandler helping keep the Nuggets in the ball game with the drive and the scoop, 49-43. Derek Favors also has missed the last two games for the Jazz with lower back soreness. He's soaring through the lane right there for the slam. 53-44 Utah at halftime. In the second half, more from the sharpshooter out of Butler. The long two for Hayward is good. Utah by 12. Then more from Favors, the former Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket. Sneaking in on the baseline, gets the nice feed from Richard Jefferson. It was a 16-point Utah lead. But here come the Nuggets, Timothy Moskov. Two of his 13 off the bench, off the alley from Wilson Chandler. And more from that Denver bench, one of the tops in the NBA at nearly 45 points a game. Nate Robinson dumps it off for Darrell Arthur. The Denver reserves score 57 in this one. Jordan Hamilton with the steal. He gets the floater to go on the other end. He and Chandler tied for team high honors with 17 apiece. Part of a 26 to eight run Denver would go ahead by as many as two with the Jazz in transition. Hayward finishes the three-point play, including the free throw. Utah back on top by a point. Hayward said that and one was so good the first time. If some is good, more is better. He had a season-high 30 points, a career-high 13 rebounds, and then Favors just chucking it up at the hoop, and he finds a way to get that one to go, plus the foul. He had 19 points. The Jazz win by 10, the Nuggets, Six and three at home this year. They lost three games at home all of last season.